Yes. Out to the first brigade on the 22nd. This is a mistake. It's all there. You leave on the 22nd, shipping back to Iraq. Subsection 12305, Title 10, by the authority of the President. You didn't stop lost. Lieutenant Colonel. Sergeant King. I teed you up for a recruitment pitch in Brazos and you gave me an onion patch. That's what came to mind, sir. What's your problem, Sergeant? I'm supposed to be getting out today. Now they're shipping me back to Iraq. You understand why it's important we win over there. Why we need good soldiers like you. Yes, sir. You have extenuating circumstances, you gay or pregnant? Sir, you know me. I'm a squared away soldier. Because I have an extenuating circumstance, Sergeant. It's called a war. It's in Iraq. I know, sir. I volunteered to fight in it. I ran over 150 combat missions for you, no complaint. Contract says, Stop loss is only in a time of war. This president has said the war's over, so legally... You a lawyer, son? No, sir. But after doing right by this army, I'm getting burned by some fine print in a contract. Now, the president himself the said... The president is also the commander-in-chief. I think he trumps you either way. With all due respect, sir, fuck the president. Fuck the president. Yes, sir. He's not over there fighting this war. He's not there seeing his buddies burned alive in Humvees. I lost three men last month, and I almost got the rest of us killed. But those were my men, too, and I lost more than that. You're an excellent leader, and you are going back. For 11 more years. It won't come to that. How do you know? I think the president trumps you in this matter. This, sir, is bullshit, and you know it. Lieutenant. You just heard Sergeant King disobey a direct order. Yes, sir. I also perceive him to be a flight risk. Escort him to the stockade so he can readjust his attitude. You're making a big mistake. I'm doing you a big favor. End of discussion. Make sure he ships to the 1st Brigade when it goes out on the 22nd. Roger, sir. <laughs> 